that wasn't an official girlfriend. But I had a rule. She violated it. It seemed shady. She, st she stuck around for like two hours crying, I love you, pleading with me for not to do this, et cetera, et cetera, telling me that I'm, I'm totally mistaken, et cetera, et cetera. But I went with my gut. And months later, I found out that she had been texting this person behind my back. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the notion of things seeming shady, okay? Sometimes when you're talking to your girlfriend or your rotation girl or just any girl that you are seeing in general regardless of the label, something might appear as shady, okay? And I'm gonna go over what it means when something is shady and how you should deal with it. Okay, before we continue, if you are new to the channel or not yet a subscriber, I offer extremely efficient, effective, and optimized dating advice, the best in the world. Coming from a background of engineering and computer science, I've made the entire game very systematic and repeatable. So subscribe below and press the notification bell to never miss a video, new videos every single day throughout the year. And also, if you are looking to really skyrocket your results extremely fast and solve the problem permanently in as little as two months, so you never have to think about this shit again or get any more training from anyone else ever again and have a maxed out skill level that you can enjoy for decades, jump on a free 30 minute call with either me or one of my coaches, and we'll show you how you, we can get your game to a very extreme level very quickly, okay? So, I have a player uncle who was a big player back in the day. He's given me a lot of wisdom. I think he was traditionally labeled as a natural, but he used to get tons of chicks. He told me something that was very important. He said, John, if a girl does something and it seems shady, then it probably is fucking shady, okay? He said, let me ask you this. He said, if I wasn't doing anything shady, would anything appear to be shady? Would anything appear off or out of place? No, of course not. Okay, so when a girl does something that raises you know, your suspicions, more times than not, your suspicions are probably correct. Okay, however, if you were to confront the girl about these things, she's just gonna tell you what you want to hear. That's what you would do too. That's what anyone would most likely do. Okay, so instead of asking for her version of the story, or instead of discussing and say, hey, is what I think here actually true or, or whatever? That's a bunch of bullshit, okay? And that's just going to give you, you know, she's just gonna give you acceptable answers that you're either gonna have to deal with or not, but the facts remain the facts. So he said in these situations, you wanna look at it like a judge, okay? Of course she's gonna give you explanations. Of course she's gonna say that you don't know what you're talking about. Of course she's gonna give an extreme reaction and say like, oh, I would never do that, etc." So he said you need to look at things like a judge, you need to weigh the evidence, and you need to make a decision and go with what your gut says, okay? And if you decide that she's, you know, pulling some bullshit, then all you should see is the gavel raining down and be thinking to yourself, guilty, guilty, guilty. It doesn't matter what her fucking explanation is. It doesn't matter what her defense is, okay? And this ties in to having boundaries as a man, which I will link at the end of this video and we'll put the link in the description for that video. But I talk about in the boundaries video, if the girl ever pulls some kind of bullshit that you should address and say, listen, I don't put up a bullshit that's not tolerated. And when she tries to defend it and argue it, you don't get into an argument with her or defense because she's going to twist the logic around and she's going to import a bunch of extra things and try to turn it back on you and, and try to vindicate herself. Okay, so instead, you don't engage in the argument, you just say, listen, that was bullshit. I don't put up with bullshit. I thought you were cool, but then you went and pulled this bullshit. Now I'm not sure if I want to see you anymore. And then it's your judgment call if you want to cut her off right then or if you want to give her like one firm warning and then cut her off later. Okay, I'll give you an example. I had a rotation girl. Uh, we had a bunch of girls we were seeing on the side as well. She was cool, we were doing pickup together. And I told her, I don't want you texting with other dudes, okay? One day after a threesome, I walked into the bathroom, she was blow drying her hair. I saw on her phone that she was texting with a dude, okay? And I, I saw, and then I, I you know, this is, a, this is an example of directly catching them. but. I came out, and then later when she came out, I'm like, hey, you're not texting with any guys, right? No, I would never do that. Oh, well, I saw that you were texting with this dude. Oh, well, he's just a friend, okay? And, you know, I had seen part of the conversation where she's like, oh, I'm gonna be running late, this and that. And I said, are you trying to meet up with this guy? No, I would never do that. Okay, right, and now here's an example where 
you're looking at the evidence, looking at the facts. Of course, they're not going to admit it. She starts swearing on her like uh, dead, you know, uh, parental figure's life, swearing on like, you know, our, her love for me, and, and um, you know, even even third party. Like she's like, oh, this this female friend we're both friends with. I swear on our my friendship with her. However, the facts looked bad. Okay, so I went with my gut, and I said, that's it. We're done. You know, this is a girl I've been seeing for several months that was open to me seeing other girls that I had threesome stuff with that wasn't an official girlfriend. But I had a rule. She violated it. It seemed shady. She, st she stuck around for like two hours crying, I love you, pleading with me for not to do this, et cetera, et cetera, telling me that I'm, I'm totally mistaken, et cetera, et cetera. But I went with my gut. And months later, I found out that she had been texting this person behind my back. And she was you know, potentially seeing this person. So you just need to go with what your gut says. And again, you don't want these chicks, like even if, if you catch them in a lie, for instance, you don't want them on those terms because they're just gonna be more careful next time, okay? They're not gonna stop lying. Once they've shown that they're capable of lying to your face, they're not gonna stop lying. That doesn't, let's not confuse things. This doesn't mean like resent all women, be confrontational with all women, try to always keep the upper hand against all women. No, you give them the benefit of the doubt, you treat them well, you make the rules and the, and the guidelines very clear, and then if they wanna go fuck around and they wanna violate those rules, then you just enforce the consequences. It's that simple, okay? And this, this should be true with anyone, <clears throat> with guy friends, with family members, with anyone in your life. You should have boundaries. And if something appears shady, okay, there, like I said in the beginning, nothing should appear shady if there's nothing shady happening. So if something appears shady, it probably is. So the moral of the story is go with your gut, weigh the evidence for what it is, make a decision like a judge, don't factor in their explanation because it's, it's just gonna be the, the narrative that absolves them of the most guilt possible. Okay, that, that doesn't mean be trigger happy and be ready to like punish them when you actually happen to be mistaken, but just be cognizant of the fact that many men for many generations have you know, been taken for a ride, so to speak, a proverbial ride. Uh, when they catch a girl, or they, they see a bunch of things really suspicious and they say, hey, what's this? And they'll say, oh, that's nothing, right? You're never gonna see, or very rarely, you're, you're gonna see them like bang some other dude or like doing something else that you don't want them to do, okay? But when you have evidence pointing towards that, you don't actually need to physically see the thing happening, okay? You can put two and two together. It's a simple logical jump and then you need to enforce consequences. So I hope that was clear. I hope that was a good message for you guys. If you want to get very good at the game, dial in all of your internal mindsets as well as all, as well as all of your outer game tactics and strategy. Jump on a free 30 minute call with me. Link is in the description. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber or you're new to the channel, please subscribe below for new videos every day. Press the notification bell so you never miss one of those videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. Like, comment, and share. And I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.